My name is Elke Veeman. I'm a girl born and raised in a small village in the Netherlands called Norg. I followed the path of education as many other Dutch children. I started to go to primary school in my village. Afterwards, I went to secondary school in a city nearby called Assen. And finally, I went to university in Groningen. There I did my bachelor business administration and continued with the master's change management and international business. In 2013, I went to a conference in Dubai named Education Without Borders. Students of all over the world came together to speak about the importance of education. There I met Joseph Smith from Sierra Leone. He told me his story. My name is Joseph Smith and I'm born in the village called Mokanji Hills, a bauxite mining town in Sierra Leone, West Africa. In 1991, started the civil war and reached my village in 1994. I was in my primary school when the rebels attacked my village. I ran to the nearest forest nearby and there was a very small village where I slept. The next day, I entered into a company's bus that was taking people to the capital city, Freetown. I didn't know anybody in Freetown, so I became a street child and I was nine years old. Every day, I went begging on the street and working for people for daily survival. Then I met a man called Mr. Kuka, who used to work in Mokanji for the bauxite mining company. One day, Mr. Kuka introduced me to his girlfriend, Mrs. Willie Miners Schott. Miss Schott took me to her home and I became her adopted son. Her former husband was called Mr. Archibald Smith. My name was actually Joseph Bremer, but this family gave me the name Joseph Smith. Miss Schott had a son called Solomon Smith. According to him, I was very clever. He decided to let me start with school back in Freetown. Then Solomon Smith left to the USA when his mother died. He asked his girlfriend, Frances Ridu, to, to stay with me. So I transferred to the Thompson's family. Then I started my high school. Then Frances went to Australia and asked her elder brother, Mr. William Thompson, to take care of me. Frances stayed, Frances stayed supporting me until my university. In the university, I got the opportunity to go as a student leader to the conference in Dubai. Education Without Borders, there I met Elke Viman from the Netherlands and I told her my story. We can learn from Joseph's story to keep faith and always carry on even in difficult times. Also, don't be afraid to rely on support of each other. I was born in the Netherlands. He was born in Sierra Leone, but I believe in equal chances. Joseph's story should be retold, but also your personal story is equal important. Build and work on your own story and experience your life.